I'm better than you and I can prove it. Let's stop it! Oh! Lyrics. Are you sure you want to do this? This brother thinks he's taking my shoes. I'm letting you know, there's no friends out there. What's happening, it's missed. As you know, I'm the rapper that's mad about anything that's got four wheels. I'm taking some time to go and talk to the mandem from all walks of life, music, sport, entertainment. So listen, we're gonna get into some deep chats. Then we're gonna be putting a bet on and going head to head on the go-kart track. You know me, I'm a creps man. If they lose, I get their shoes. If they get wrecked, I get their creps. Listen, if they win as well, well, it's up to them. <laughs> But I'm not too worried about that. Welcome to Driven. So listen, we have the grime scene OG, lyrical genius. Chip, Chip, you're my brother here, but listen, when the helmet goes on, it's game over, so. Today, we have the big man himself, <laughs> Chip. You know what I'm saying? 17 yes, years in the game. Come on. You get me? This is the king right here, you know? <laughs> nah, don't, don't give me that. Because once you're the king, they have to aim for the neck and the bum. <laughs> you get me? So uh, yeah, it's I'm real I'm now, just, but I'm you got to keep it real. You got a noble you know what man. Yeah. Who else has done it? You know what I'm saying? Respect, bro, man. Appreciate it. Trust me. Saying. Real, bro. <laughs> it's a trick. Mm. Now, you started this thing from young, bro. I'm talking before man was even hitting it. When's your first memory of you first even getting involved in music? My first memory of. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I want to do that. I was probably about 14 because I was more interested in dancing, if I be honest, when I was younger, like taping MC Hammer vids and trying yeah, to wear yeah, the baggy yeah. clothes and oh, I was getting mad. <laughs> you get me? But then as you start coming of age, you know what I mean? You start fancying girls and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So I'm on my block, on my estate. There was always like decks in the garden, music blaring out couple mic man vinyl mixing and that and I just remember I used to look at like how the girls used to look at the guys when they started MCing. Yeah, yeah, so it was yeah. like if you could dance you'd get some love but if you could hold the mic in your Averex. Yeah get a wheel up. Yeah you know what I mean mic. it was just like <laughs> raw boy everyone wants to talk to you after so I thought oh, that looks cool let me give that a go you get me. Then by like 16 I started to realise that they kind of know me in England that like I couldn't really get the bus and certain it's things anymore. Mad to be so at yeah, that age, still being at school and that. Mm -hmm. I've heard rumours like it was, you had security at college and... I didn't ha actually have official security in college, but at the time, my management infrastructure, I was secure. I watched a doc on me the other day and my DJ was in it and he was like, yeah, Chip used to wear his Rolex to college. That was a cause for concern. But at the time to me, it wasn't a cause for concern because I just image. knew I was good. And it's like, yeah. I worked hard. Like, you don't know how I got this. You know what I'm saying? So Chip, lyrics. <laughs> you know your thing, bro. Yes. You Mr. don't stop. Mr. Lyrics, yeah. Uh, is there a favorite? Have you got a personal favorite that you can say, you know what? It's just this one lyric. I, I still need to get it tattooed, but I said the word rap is in therapy. And for me, that was just like, wow. That's the story of my life. I'd, why do you rap so much? Because the word rap is in therapy. Do you know what I mean? I feel like as rappers, public figures, ETC, we go through so much that people don't actually get to see Crazy. what it's like being the person in the spotlight, dealing with all them kind of sort yeah, of things. Yeah, There's yeah. so much that when I look back now and I think, what are you doing? I was 21 in New York coming up with lyrics like that, like the word rap is in therapy. There's so much that's on your shoulders, back down to family, friends, you're carrying everyone. You know how it gets in it? And mm -hmm. you have to learn how to... Navigate that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it's a mess. 100%. It's mad, because if I be honest, if I could go back after everything I've experienced through music and ask or tell myself, my younger self something, I'd probably just say, are you sure you want to do this? All this pressure, all this fame and all this kind of, all, all the orders that I know you know yeah, it comes yeah, yeah. with, might make someone say, I actually would have done something else. But I think that I, the older me would ask the younger me, because no one actually asked me and actually said like, are you sure you want to do this? I didn't experience these sort of things, the level of fame until I was a big man, which mm -hmm. no one, like, I didn't know how to deal with it, but I kind of yeah. dealt with it. I knew I was starting young and I just, even from that young, I would say like, I'm going to be the kid that's going to be all right. Like, I used to look at people like Macaulay Culkin, uh, Lil Bow Wow. Um, God bless them, I hope they're still generating income and being able to take care of their families. But I remember seeing a shift of people like 
stop liking them and just on to the next just thing. Done, yeah, and yeah. I always knew that they would come for me, but I was always prepared to try and like counteract it. Better put some respect on Chip's name. You know I mean? Love, bro. So Chip, clashing. <laughs> that is a part of grime culture. Mm -hmm. What got you into to clashing? Because obviously, bro, not everyone's made for clashing. Yeah, yeah. 100%, I think something that's overlooked in clashing, diss tracks, battle rap, whatever, is how selfless of a person you have to be. Because I always say just like, whoever you are, if you can imagine someone rinsing you for three minutes, like you have to be very selfless to not let that actually affect you. Someone will argue that grime is like a, a branch of like hip hop. And I wouldn't say no, but I feel like it's more a branch of Jamaican sound clash culture. And yeah, that yeah. is based off, you're not embarrassing me today. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? So like the nucleus of the cell of why I first write a lyric is based on, I'm better than you and I can prove it. Some people do see rap as a sport and the, when the sport nature really comes into it, it comes under the umbrella it of clashing. Real. So this is the new wave. Mm -hmm. Driven. What keeps you driven and what keeps you motivated? I think just life, you know. My man them as well. You get what I'm saying? Like life has been fortunate enough to like grow me in the ends where like people see me as someone that's broke boundaries, but I'm around people that break boundaries as well. At least once or twice a year we sit down and we chat about like where where's where's it going, where's sound going, what's the next movements? We have we have to just keep going, we have to keep pushing because we're like children of like immigrants. Like we, we understand that we're still like the minority here. So it's just like, how far can we possibly take this thing? It's been a pleasure, you know, my brother. Let's go. I think it's race time, mate. Race time. Do you know the, the, the rules? Those that don't know the rules, if you lose, I take your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yeah, I got the shoes. I you got the, the shoes? I brought the shoes along. So it's going to be mine or yours going in there, yeah? What you what you think you're taking my crib? We'll see, innit? That's a first. I'm down. Alright, then safe. If I lose, I lose my shoes. If you lose, you lose your shoes. It's a bit of a tongue twister still. Let's go. Welcome to the track. I'm Alex Shakes, Formula One commentator. Here we are at Lakeside. It's raining, it's wet, but they want each other's crepes. On the starting grid, it's a mysterious weather versus your favorite type of potato. Strap yourselves in. This brother thinks he's taking my shoes. Come on, Chip, you're my brother here, but listen. There's no games on the track, I'm letting you know. What I think of the weather right now, um, yeah, perfect driving conditions, isn't it? Tactics, don't die. <laughs> this is madness, miss. Let's have it! I want no seatbelt. I think I'm gonna lose my shoes. Let's get down to business. There's sign crepes on the line, and I've had too much coffee. Put your seatbelts on if you've got them, as the lights count down. And we're off. Ship away well as Miss Chases, the beast from Brum, just cannot seem to get off the line. Oh! And the potato <laughs> can't seem to stay on track. But he's not too far behind as we approach the hairpin. Oh! This is booty blood. That's two corners, two 360s, <laughs> but at least Chip's keeping a cool head. Oh! Oh! Well, the screaming seems to have worked. Miss drinking dirty water, but not for long as Chip spins again. <laughs> <laughs> Mist is hungry and he's having chips for dinner with peri peri salt and extra hot sauce. Mist across the line. Oh, oh this is a total mess. <laughs> Chip takes the lead of the Grand Prix, and Grand Prix is a very generous term for what this is. Let's go, Chippy! Let's go! <laughs> Mist one, chip two, on to the last lap. Mist drifting as he battles with that tiny engine. He regains control, only to lose it again. Chip, put your foot down. He can't run out of bars, and he can't drive cars. Keep the edit. <laughs> chip heading the wrong way. Someone get the sat nav. He's trying to beat Mist to the line. I don't think it'll count, but I've never seen it before. MIS to the T, putting pedal to the metal to try and beat him round. That's it! Race control of cut the engine! A bold move that didn't pay off. Missed wins! Chip, get your creps off! <laughs> Man said, sort this, I'm racing the other way. <laughs> Hi fam, what shoes you got on there? Can't hear you, geezer. <laughs> Bet's a bet, innit? My brother. <laughs> Look at you, the driver, you know. <laughs> 
Bro, it was nice doing business with you, but there's certain things that I've got to teach you about being a racer. Yeah. And it starts with having confidence before the race. Had enough, bro. <laughs> is this the deal, my brother? <laughs> Basically, you can see it there. Another day in the office, another one for the Kaleki. You know what's going on. Man come out on the track, everything's getting dinnered. Name any influencer, Whatever, any mate. rapper, <laughs> any footballer, anyone you know who you think that can step to me on this, and let's have it. Like and subscribe if you want to see me win some more crepes. If you lose, I take your shoes. <laughs>